What is going on is 2023 and I wanted to make a quick video update of the tool that I, I love to use here called Page Optimizer Pro. Um, I've done videos about this before but I wanted to show you how it can integrate with the new AI tool chat GPT. Um, so really quickly here's an example here so let's say we're trying to optimize a page for um, sheep and doodle puppies okay and we have you know Page Optimizer Pro if you're not familiar um, they tell us basically all of the places on our page that we want to include the relevant keywords, how many times we want to include them. And with the newer versions of Page Optimizer Pro, which I'm really excited about, now they have options for EEAT, which is the Experience Expertise Authority Trust metric that's very important uh, for ranking in Google. Um, so this basically tells us all the things we need to add on our page, <coughs> excuse me, on our page to make it in line with the other pages that are ranking from the standpoint of quality uh, to try to boost that quality score. Um, but anyway, for the sake of this, I wanted to kind of tie this into um, this new amazing tool that everyone's talking about, the uh, chat GPT. Um, so for this example here, I, I want to show you kind of how I would go about optimizing a page and how you can speed up the process of optimizing it by using Page Optimizer Pro in tandem with this, right? So let's say, let's take our sheep, uh, our sheep doodle puppies example here. And let's say we're trying to optimize this page. Okay, so we look down here. Let's look at, um, you know, some of the keywords they want us to, to use. Now these are kind of the primary keywords, but let's look at some of these in the main content, right? So we can see there's you know, a list of, of several kind of um, secondary terms we need to mention to in improve our relevance um, on the page for Shiba Doodle puppies ultimately. Um, so we, you can kind of comb through here and, and typically you'd want to really hone in on the ones um, that kind of make the most sense to you based on what the competitors are doing. Um, but for the sake of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm actually going to grab uh, download as text all basically all of these so that we can get the most possibilities um, you could probably just do this one because this does include the main keywords at the top and then the secondary ones um, so let's do that let's download that and then open it and so now we have all of these terms here in a text format now what we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to grab all of these and again you'd probably want to go through and see which ones are relevant and not relevant um, like certain cities here in this example since I'm we're, you know we're talking about a breeder in a specific location so some of these won't be very relevant um, but for this example let's just take those and throw them in to the chat GBT and what we're going to do is and this is kind of an example for a page that we haven't yet built, right? Because in Page Optimizer Pro, you can basically outline pages that you're going to eventually build out further. Um, so let's do this. Let's say outline a page about sheepadoodle puppies uh, mentioning the following um, entities and yeah actually that's fine entities okay and then we'll hit shift enter and paste that list in here now we're going to have to go through and erase these numbers really quickly okay so i just went through and i got rid of all those numbers i also kind of cut down the list a little bit uh because again for this example I, I don't need to mention specific states or anything i'm just kind of trying to keep it more general including that one don't need that um yeah so basically just trying to keep it tied to these specific, you know, dog related terms and whatnot. Okay, great. So we have this ready to go. Now we're going to hit this and sometimes it doesn't work, but it looks like it's working now. And it's going to spit us out an outline. Um, just like we asked, essentially, um, it's going to mention all of the entities that we wanted it to mention. And you can see here again in my prompt, I said outline a page mentioning all of these entities. So it's going to try to include these words um, where appropriate. Um, and it really does a good job at it from what I've seen. Now, this is kind of written a little more like a blog post. If we want it to sound more like a sales page, 
Um, we might be able to get ChatGPT to do that for us. Um, if not, we might just have to rework things a little bit ourselves, but this gives us a great template uh, to work from in order to make sure that we're ranking, um, you know, using the appropriate on-page signals for uh, Sheba Doodle puppies. And again, this was all essentially from Page Optimizer, um, using Page Optimizer to get all of those entities to plug in here. Um, so it's really, really a nice feature. And let's just, for the sake of this, let's try to say, um, rewrite this like a sales page. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. And it's literally writing it like it's a, it's a dog sale. So, uh, I don't know if that's exactly what we wanted, but Hey, it's interesting. Um, and you can see here, I mean, in all seriousness, it is writing it more like sales copy, um, which is ideal. So it's better than a blog post in this case. Um, so you can, you can see that it's mentioning a lot of those terms that we wanted. It said English sheepdog, hybrid breed of dog. Um, yeah, hybrid breed of dog, English sheepdog and poodle. That's a sheep -a doodle. Um, then it talks about the different sizes, the minis, the Australian Shepherd, mini, mini Australian Shepherd and English Bulldog, blah, blah, blah. So it's mentioning all these different terms that, that are going to ultimately help us rank, right? Because Google wants to see that we are um, topic pros about all these different topics. And, you know, this isn't super long, so we could say, you know, expand on this, uh, mention more entities. We, you can really drill down. Um, a little further into uh, into the chat G GPT. Um, you could also go through Page Optimizer and I mean, you could go up to the LSI and variation section, um, kind of go through this. It's going to be pretty similar to what we copied, but you might find a thing or two that's worth mentioning. Uh, you can look at, t t t I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. You can go back to the entity section and make sure that we're mentioning these specific entities. Um, because again, this is a new feature in Page Optimizer that's really cool where you can see what the top rankers, um, what kind of entities Google sees them as. Um, and you can say, okay, we need to mention colors because we don't mention specific colors. Like, you know, do we have, do we have colors mentioned here? Um, and you can kind of go that way. So yeah, anyway, um, really, really interesting stuff. Um, yeah, I, I think Page Optimizer and Chat GPT are kind of the future, um, when it, at least when it comes to SEO and on-page ranking and, and that kind of thing. So a lot of stuff you can do here, and I'm really interested to try this out um, on a number of different websites and um, maybe even launch some new websites and kind of do some testing that way. Um, so I hope this is helpful. I'm going to leave a link to uh, Page Optimizer um, in the description in case you want to try it. Again, couldn't recommend it anymore. It's, it's unreal. Um, really, really helpful with the new features they added for the NLP and the entity stuff. Um, so definitely give that a shot and uh, enjoy ranking.